We're getting tired of pulling folks off the river. We're getting tired of pulling folks off the falls. Strong, strong words from emergency officials who say they are sick and tired of swimmers ignoring the warning signs at a popular state park and putting themselves and the rescuers at risk as well. It's becoming a common sight at High Falls State Park in Monroe County. Crews braving the rapids to rescue swimmers who are not supposed to even be there. Just last night, two teenagers had to be rescued. And you recall, a 12-year-old boy was killed there just last year. 11 Alive's Ryan Kruger shows us how all these scary situations could have been avoided. The falls here at High Falls State Park, they're majestic and beautiful, but just listen to those noises behind me. You realize they're also quite dangerous. Days of rainfall have only added more fuel to the falls, but time and time again, you'll see swimmers taking the risk. There's a lot of young kids like to come and swim, teenagers. You see families down at the bottom swimming a little bit. I haven't been brave enough to jump in myself. Every few feet on your way down to the falls, you'll see a sign warning you to stay off the water. But this is probably the most ominous sign saying fatalities and serious injuries have occurred. Tuesday night, two teenagers were overwhelmed by the raging rapids. A helicopter had to be brought in to rescue them. Monroe County's EMA director hopes that's the last time it ever happens. This is not rocket science. Keep yourself out of the river. When it looks like this, it's not safe. You're going to die. We've already done that once in the last eight months, and I really don't want to do it again. Last October, 12-year-old Christian Burdett died when he was swept away. His 17-year-old brother James had to be lifted to safety. He took a step, and he just went in, and I seen him, and I went up there, and I dove in after him. And I grabbed him by his arm and he said, I'm about to die. I said, no, you're not. At that point, I got sucked under, he got sucked under. But those horror stories haven't stopped swimmers and rescue crews worry about the next time they'll have to jump into action. Boy, Ryan is with me right now. And Ryan, I was there last year. Right. And everywhere you look, there are warning signs. All over the place, yeah. And, and I hate to put it this way, but I was actually pleasantly surprised that I didn't see any swimmers in the water because last year after that 12 yeah. year old boy died I went down there the next day there were people back in the water that time signs are all over the place it's yeah. not like there's not warnings there there's plenty of them right they're just ignoring those yeah, signs. Yeah, because when I walked down I mean you could count them like there was a dozen yeah. signs there beautiful place but yeah. you still have to be careful absolutely